Hello and welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub. And uh, today's uh, question for discussion is very important. We are going to talk about the out of specification procedure. The question is, do we need to raise an OS? If the result for test sample is found out of the spec while conducting the method validation. So let me give one small example. Let us say you are conducting a method validation for paracetamol assay. Your specification is 98 to 102%. And you are conducting a precision study. You prepared six samples. And for one sample, the result for assay is 97%. So this is the situation you are in right now. So what one has to do to investigate such kind of failure? See the, the first and foremost, as a part of method validation, you are not validating the product or the test sample, but you are validating or challenging your test procedure. The second important point is uh, there is no question about whether the investigation has to be conducted or not investigation has to be certainly conducted but according to my opinion you did not to investigate this uh, failure by os but maybe by using the lab incident or lab deviation procedure you may further investigate the uh, result uh, and you must understand whether this result is the outcome of lab error or not because during conducting validation analyst can also make an error Maybe the sonication has not done appropriately for the required amount of time. Maybe the sample is not weighed up appropriately as per requirement. And because of that, you are finding the out of the spec result now. So investigation has to be conducted to understand whether there is any issue with the method or not. And let us assume that you identified that the method is not adequate. Method is not suitable for the intended use. Maybe the extraction is not happening accurate, uh, I mean, the properly. And because of the poor extraction, even though there is a 100% API present into the sample, I got only 97%. So you can further, you know, revise your test parameters. Maybe more longer amount of sonication time. Maybe the higher amount of uh, dilution volume. And this will sort out your extraction issues. So you now got the revised testing procedure based on your earlier uh, non-conformity and that revised testing procedure can be considered for further validation study. But in case if you identified that there is no lab error as such, the method is suitable, I mean the results are accurate, then you can further investigate this failure for the batch manufacturing, whether there is any issue observed during manufacturing of the batch. And if the outcome is that, okay, now there is an issue with the, this particular, this specific batch, then you can consider the manufacturing of one more batch for validation purpose. And that batch sample can be used for conducting the method validation study. So according to me, any OS result observed during the validation study need not to be investigated through the OS. But investigation must be conducted to understand the root cause and lab deviation or incident can be the appropriate procedure. Let me know your opinion in the chat box below. Thank you so much.